African Wild Dogs Also known as the African Painted Dog and Cape Hunting Dog, the African Wild Dog, Lacaon Pictus, is a wild canine native to Sub-Saharan Africa. It is the only living member of the genus Lycaon, and it is the largest wild hound in Africa. Unlike Canis, it doesn't have dew claws, which is what makes it different. African wild dogs are one of the favorite animals to see on a safari, though they are often mistakenly judged by their appearance. Their musky colors and fur patterns make them seem unkempt and unclean. They also travel in packs, making them appear confrontational and aggressive. However, there is nothing quite as impressive as coming across a large pack of these magnificent animals in their natural habitats. Read on for more incredible facts about African wild dogs. African wild dogs have powerful social bonds. African wild dogs are very social animals. They gather in packs of about 10, but some groups may exceed 20. The typical pack size in Salu and Mareni is 8 or 9 adults, while packs in Maasai Mara and Kruger National Park contain 4 or 5. Each gender has its own dominance hierarchy, which is usually led by the oldest female or oldest male. They communicate through tail wags, touch, and various vocalizations, including a howl to rally a pack of wild dogs, a short bark to signify alarm, and a bell-like sound that can be heard over long distances. African wild dogs prefer to hunt antelopes but will also take down rodents, warthogs, wildebeest, and birds. Their hunting strategies depend on their target prey, but they often chase prey to exhaustion. In the case of antelopes, African wild dogs sneak into the herd and then run down one, repeatedly biting it on the belly and legs until it weakens. An African wild dog can chase after prey for up to 60 minutes, running at about 41 miles per hour. They have a very high hunting success rate because they hardly give up. The African wild dog's scientific name, Lycaon pictus, is derived from their distinctive spotted coats, which means painted wolf-like animal. African wild dogs are well known for their black, white, and yellow spotted coats, each with a unique pattern. Their beautiful coat colors help them blend into their surroundings. Although each dog has its own unique pattern, most of them have a white-tipped tail, which helps pack members find each other during a hunt. Female African dogs give birth to between 2 and 20 pups, with an average litter size of 10 the largest of any canid. The female remains with the litter for a few weeks and relies on the other pack members to provide her with food. Although the litters are large, very few pups survive to adulthood. The dens may get flooded sometimes, or the puppies die from diseases. The young African wild dogs leave the den in two to three months but will still be fed by the entire pack until they are old enough to join or start a new hunting pack. African wild dogs are generally found in savanna and arid zones. African wild dogs generally avoid forested areas because they obstruct their vision while pursuing prey. They prefer to inhabit the savannas and arid zones to facilitate their hunting habits. The tropical grasslands bear drought-resistant vegetation even in the dry season, attracting several grazers like antelopes, one of the wild dog's favorite prey. The African wild dog was first described scientifically in 1820. Coonrod Jacob Temink first described the wild dog in 1820 after examining a specimen from the coast of Mozambique. He scientifically named the animal Hyena picta, a species of hyena. In 1827, Joshua Brooks recognized the animal as a canid and called it the Lycaon tricolor. Lycaon is a Greek word meaning wolf-like. The species name tricolor was later changed to picta to conform with the international rules on taxonomic nomenclature.